makes his debut in Dallas. He said to George Sedano, after on the floor, been a whirlwind 96 hours or thereabouts. Mark Cuban there to see the new man in town. He's, we already got some handshakes choreographed with the fellas. And the basketball is probably the easiest part, right? Because those talents are going to translate. Luca injured on the bench, but loving what he's seeing. There's five straight early points. And then Kyrie with a step back in your eye hole. 41 in the first quarter. That's the most in a first quarter all season as they're giving it to the Clippers. 13 point lead. Kyrie down the lane to the left. The handles and the layup package. He's got as much creativity certainly as anybody and more of that range. Mavericks carried an eight point lead into the locker room. Clippers down eight. Kawhi steps back and hits the long two. And then two more. Kyrie, Kyrie rips off 11 straight. Steve Ballmer cheering his guys on. Three point game early fourth. Again, it's Kyrie to the cup. Five point lead. Theo Pinson hanging out beyond the arc. He drops that. Pinson heating up in the fourth. Mavs up 10. Then Kyrie again. There's that creativity in the layup game. The lead swells to nine. Five point lead late. Tim Hardaway Jr. That's something of a dagger as Dallas goes on the road in Kyrie's debut and gets the six point victory in Cleveland in Boston with Brooklyn. And then now it begins this way in Dallas. Those are the various debuts he's had. It's his first win in a team debut. Tim Legler joins us now, and Legs, uh, not unlike the situation in, in Brooklyn where we didn't often have Kyrie and the other stars on the floor together, he and Luca not, to, not on the floor yet. We'll be soon. When that happens, Luca's as ball dominant as anybody. As you and I often talk about, no offense runs more through one dude than it did through Luca. Now it won't. What do you sense it will look like? Yeah, I think the adjustment's going to have to come on the part of Luka Doncic, right? Because if you're Kyrie Irving, you understand you were brought here to be Kyrie Irving because they need that element. They need something like that alongside Luka. They need somebody to be the focal point when Luka Doncic is out of the game because they have really struggled this year when he's not on the floor. So Kyrie's going to be himself. So the adjustment comes from Luka, Scott. And, and what that really means is – He's going to have to give the ball up earlier in the clock. There's going to have to be obviously more possessions where the ball is now given to Kyrie and it's going to be his initial action to, to start the play. And, and what does Luka do in the meantime? You know, he's not a guy that's going to move a whole lot without the ball. So it's going to now be this ebb and flow between two elite level offensive players when they're playing together. So the important questions will be answered down the road after they get a body of work together and they sure. find a rhythm together. But at least for a night, you did see one thing. They now have an identity when Luka Doncic is not on the floor. For that 12 to 15 minutes a night when he's over there resting or foul trouble or whatever it may be, they now have another guy that can run the offense and go get you buckets. They haven't really had it since Jalen Brunson left. How easy or how difficult will it be for a superstar to just – adapt to something completely new it's it's definitely an adjustment and they can say all the right things and they think it's going to be seamless it won't be seamless you you go back to even when when lebron james dwayne wade chris bosh first came together if you recall scott there were eight and nine in the first month plus of that experiment that all led i to remember we were, in, we, we were in full freak out mode on sports center as i recall <laughs> eight and nine what are we gonna do absolutely so i don't care who you are and what your iq is this is going to be an adjustment when you have a guy this good offensively playing alongside you now because this is even an, obviously a notch up from Jalen Brunson. This is a guy now that, that wants to have the ball to be the initial guy, and it's going to be his show to a certain extent for a certain amount of minutes in the game. That's an adjustment for Luka Doncic. And, look, he's smart enough to figure it out, and I know he wants to win, and they are basically been a 500 team this year. They've been disappointing. So if you're Luka Doncic and you want to win, you have to embrace talent. 
and that's what he is going to do, but it is not going to be a seamless transition. And then there's a whole other question. What is this going to look like defensively? Because you now have a pretty porous perimeter defense, and this is a league now that even though it's an offense-based league, Scott, you still have to get stops when it matters. And they can both be attacked and picked on at times. And that's one thing that Dorian Finney-Smith did for Luka. He took on those tough challenges at the point guard position. Well, you can't do that now. One of these guys is going to have to guard those elite-level point guards that can light you up. So that's going to be another challenge. Let's give it time. We want answers right now, I know. But we have to see them play together for at least, you know, 10, 12 games. Something clearly we will be talking about as winter turns to spring and then towards the early summer in the playoffs. And we'll have time to do it, which we will. Tim, thanks so much. You got it, Scott. After the game, Jason Kidd on the new point guard in town. Kyrie, a win in his debut in Los Angeles. It was okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It was good. It's good. It, it, you know, I think uh, uh, knowing Kai and uh, just understanding uh, his skill set and uh, the new atmosphere, um, he's excited to be here. And I think he talked about that yesterday. Um, Again, I think his leadership down the stretch of getting everyone organized, uh, knowing how to play um, without having the ball or being able to have to score, setting screens for his teammates to get shots uh, was shown tonight. So um, a lot of great stuff uh, as we build this uh, on this uh, new journey uh, with him. It's, it's going to be fun. Um, now, will, it, will we make shots like we did tonight always? Uh, no, but this is a really good team. Uh, when you talk about the Clippers, and I talked about it earlier with them, is that we've had trouble scoring 100 points against them. And to be able to score tonight uh, there to get off to a really good start in that first quarter um, uh, was good. I think it was carryover from that Utah game when, with the ball moving and cutting, and it was, no one was really holding the ball. Again, the really interesting part of this will come when Luke is well enough to be on the floor. Then we see what we've got. As for this game and what we've got, we've got Kyrie Irving joining this list of Mavericks on the active roster this season who have a 20.5 assist game. Luke has done it a lot. Christian Wood on a couple of occasions, and now Kyrie's joined the list. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.